So we've exposed it another chin here. We're doing genioplasty. We're also doing V2 Y or V line surgery for this patient. Um, so we're doing some work on the angle. We're going to be facial slimming as well. The patient's lower jaw is very broad and uh, she's desirous that we give her a much more pointy, much more proportional chin along with the ramus body and the angle. And that's why we've done the dissection all the way up to the ramus. You can see this. So we finished with this chin augmentation with chin sculpting, jaw sculpting as well. I'm going to show you the amount of movement that we've achieved. So this translates to about 9 millimeters in the horizontal dimension and also about, I have to look at the gap right back, so it should be about 4 to 5 millimeters. That yeah, was a plan. Okay. So, yeah, it's between four and five. And um, we have also used a lot of work. So you can see the chin, the shape now. It's pointy. It's much more proportional. This gap is going to get filled up on its own in a few weeks' time. And we've also done bilateral angle osteoplasty. A lot of work on the body as well in order to keep the patient a slimmer profile.